What's good YouTube, it's your boy Kim and I'm back here again with another video. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram, the link will be down below in the description. And you know this, man! Okay guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to make thumbnails like the professional YouTubers. So the first thing you're going to need are Pixar, Fonto, and you're going to also want Super, super Impose, but if you're not really going to like put the text on the thumbnail, you don't really need Super Impose. So basically just download Pixar and Fonto to start. Okay, so the first thing when you go into Pixar, you got to find a, a background. So once you get the background now, you click um, add photo and you click a photo to add, then you, you have to cut it and then you click outline and just cut out the part that you want just like that. Then you just click the arrow. So you see like there's parts that are not done right. So just click erase. Zoom in and click erase. And just clear the edges. Just like that. You just have to clear them just so the, the whole thing looks better, you know? just looks good um bear with me guys because I'm actually just learning this so if if I'm not really like cutting it perfect you know that I'm a beginner just like you gotta make sure you get as much as you can just so it looks more professional okay so that looks good just click save we can just preview it first to see how it's gonna look and if you see and you notice that there is just some parts that does not look right so you gotta just like clean it up some more and once you finish with that you just have to just click save Okay, once you click save, it's gonna go back and just size it as big as or small as you want it. Um, just size it just like that, nice. Then I'm gonna add another photo and I'm just gonna do the same thing. Click cut out outline and I'm just gonna cut out the parts that I want just like that and 
just like the first one, you see that there's some parts that need to be erased. Okay, that was too big, gotta go smaller. Right, just to get it more better. Similar to the first one, you just gotta get all the parts that you don't need off just so it looks more professional and look right. Again, I'm not a professional, I'm just learning, so just bear with me, guys. I just found out about it and I want to share it with you guys. Add back the part because when I was racing, I raised it bad. You just click save, you just size it again, just as how you want it. Then when you finish, yeah, you got to click effects and go on HDR and just um, fix it as how you see it best. Then you're gonna save it, you press next and save. And once it's saved, you're gonna go back. And then you're gonna go and search. You go and search, you click artist. I'm already following this artist. His name is That Kid Messiah. Go follow him. He has a lot of stickers that you can use. I'm going to use the recording one. Right. And the photo that you just see, you're going to click it and you're going to size the sticker as you see best. Once it's done, you click next, save, and download photo. Once you save, you go into Fonto, click photo albums, it's the wrong thing, click photo albums, um, click on the photo that you just saved, wrong one, right. Then you're gonna click on, you're gonna click on the, the, the photo and add text. I'm gonna leave a link in my description and how you can download the font that I'm using um, it's best not to write out everything at first just just do one part then you do the next part and once it's there you click style um, 
color what colors you want you just pick you can click pattern and use any pattern that you like right, I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna click up there and I put it vertically mm -hmm, I like that that looks good then I'm gonna click stroke and I'm gonna pull up the alpha max it out just to get that thing around it right and turn your X and Y's to zero I give it a small blur then you're gonna go on size just to make it bigger or smaller any way you like it then you're gonna add the second part of your um, text And you're gonna do the same thing, click pattern. I'm gonna use a different pattern this time and I'm gonna make it vertical again. Then I'm gonna go on stroke, turn up the alpha, give it some width. size it down just so it fits nice I'm gonna size down the other one also just to make it look more okay so once you've you, um, you can also curve them I'm not gonna do it but you can curve it so it looks you know if you want to curve it you can then you're gonna save it then you're gonna go back into for into pick pix art sorry back into pix art click on the photo that you just saved then you're gonna click on stickers the same person that i told you from before you're gonna have to go back to his thing you have to search for him to get the stickers because he has a lot of them i already have them saved so i was gonna use it Just gonna line it up as how you see fit. Um, to change the color, you're gonna click on effects, then colorize, and just put it to the color that you want it. I'm gonna add another one. And I'm gonna do the same thing as I did to the first one. Right, then I'm gonna click, I click shadow just to give it a nice um, shadow. Then I'm gonna 
click on a photo like this you can find them on um, Google and I'm gonna turn down the opacity I'm gonna turn on up opacity of just to give it that look I hope you guys I hope you guys see what I'm talking about give it that look and then it's gonna save and that's it if you found this video um, helpful please leave a like comment share and subscribe also follow me on Instagram the link will be down below in the description okay bye